Welcome back to Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Saturday. Yeah, the very next day after my last video, which I haven't even edited yet because I was up last night shuffling chickens around. Speaking of chickens, I got uh, 14 hens and uh, three roosters in the back of the Toyota here. And we are almost to uh, come on mountain. Yep, we are getting very close. He is getting a flock of chickens. And I brought three roosters. He can have, uh, you can't have all three of them. But, uh, and he doesn't have to take any of them. So we'll let him have his pick if he wants one or not. Uh, okay, see you in a bit. Oh, uh, we've got the, the greeting committee. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. All right, let's go look at these chicken coops. I hope you like what we did with your place. Oh yeah, the first new chicken resident of Come On Mountain. And uh, this actually came from Anthony and Roxanne at Country Road Cure. Yeah. But of course they got all their chickens from me. Yeah, so the, you're so, the godfather. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This guy, I can tell he's got a little feathers on his legs, so he's yeah. part Moran's. The comb is a pea comb, uh, so he's part white and true blue. So yeah, he's got some funky egg color genetics. He's pretty. But he's a, yeah, the gold, it's like a pumpkin color yeah. along the. We are done. Check out, come on, homesteading. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. For, uh, he got a lot more footage. And they're in there, they're a little pecking order stuff going on. No uh, rooster fights yet. No. Um, and that's the beauty with the setup. They, they can get away from each other if they need to. Yeah, I think this setup right here is actually going to work out really, really well. <laughs> and, I... and he's happier oh, yeah. than can be. Yeah, I, I think, and also, I think it is also very easy to be able to separate the two if you need to have two separate spaces as well. And it's more than enough room for this amount of chickens, for sure. So, I think they're good to go. They are. All I got left to do now is build some, uh, My battery keeps messing up. I'm sorry. Uh, he, he'll have a great video and I will, uh, I'll definitely link it when it comes out.
I'm filming. Are you waiting on me? I'm waiting on you, Bob. All right. You happy to have chickens? I'm as happy as a puppy with two Peters. Come on. All right. <laughs> now we got to go party. Yeah, let's go do it. See you in a bit. He is zigzagging all the way through town. My phone not working, so I had to follow him. And we end up in the wrong spot, so now we're headed to the right spot, and then we'll start partying. All right. <laughs> it is 5.20 p.m. I made it home. I'm procrastinating to get out of the car because it's nice and warm in here, and it's 36 degrees outside. Uh, good day of community for me. Um, you know, spreading the, the chickens around uh, to more friends. Uh, David, come on, homesteading, doing a little barter. I need, desperately need some help getting moved. So uh, between him and Mike, uh, uh, Mike's going to be enjoying those eggs also. So, yeah, that was a good barter. And then uh, uh, birthday party was Simple Life Reclaimed and Country Road Cure and uh their mom charlene now what travel ready on a not so ready road simple road yeah that's it um who else yeah lissa from drifting during her five and i uh bring home one rooster i took three i was gonna let david choose the one he wanted and then we got to the birthday party and uh charlene has yeah she's got chickens and uh, I'm like, you, you're more than welcome to one of these. So, uh, yeah, she got one of the roosters with the crest, one of the number two uh, progeny. All right. Oh, man. I don't want to get out. He needs to go back with his flock, though. And I'm going to, I stopped and picked up some milk. I'm going to have some hot chocolate. I'm going to have me a nice toasty fire in the wood stove and uh it'll be a good ending to a to a long but good day all right time to build a fire put some milk on the stove and uh then we'll get the chickens in bed i'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching take it easy Welcome back to Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Sunday. I'm not a Bobblehead Homestead. I'm here, if you'll recognize the view, at the 41.36 with Simple Life Reclaimed and Country Road Cure. Today was freezer camp day for my extra roosters, and I got a ton of help. I did not do any filming, but uh, I think Simple Life Reclaimed, uh, Gary and Mal, will have an awesome video of this day. I will point you to it when it comes out. Um, I do want to point to David at Come On Homesteading, link down below. Uh, his premiere today was uh, the flock that he got for me. Um, so it, uh, yeah, that was cool. Got to help a little bit, uh, getting loose ends put together on his uh, put together chicken coop, which I thought turned out great. So definitely go take a look at his video. Now he got hens for me. But when you hatch uh, eggs, half of them are usually boys and half of them are girls. So come on, homesteading got the girls. And today, the boys got to go to freezer camp. And that's what we were doing today. I'll put a list of everybody who was here down in the description. It was just a great day. Uh, Mel was just teaching up a storm. Uh, we had Mary from Junk to Gems. We had Lissa from Drifting Dreamers 5. Um, Dawn their uh their sister um they were all hands on learning and mel was teaching them the the processing part and then um gary was teaching gary from uh junk to gyms and uh anthony was over here helping out roxanne was helping out uh mike from drifting dreamers five was you know doing the first part of it uh before you got to the uh the gutting and stuff and it was just a wonderful community day uh, you know, we talk about self-sufficiency, but uh, we, I need to coin a term, it's community sufficiency. Now, I brought nine roosters over today, and for me to try to do this by myself, that ain't happening. 
So I am not self-sufficient on that front, but I've got community. And uh, luckily we were able to, to use this day to, to expand the knowledge and the kids even got involved and expanding the knowledge to them. So it was just an awesome day. Um, Simple Life Reclaim, they had three extra roosters that they wanted to take care of and I had nine. So, uh, you know, not a big job uh, doing a dozen of them. And, you know, we just got to have a day of, of community and friendship and it was just, it was all wonderful seeing people learning and teaching and observing and participating. Uh, yeah, we've got a special thing going here in Arkansas. I'm happy to be a part of it. All right, I'll catch you with whatever comes up next. That is number two's great, great granddaughter. And uh, she's carried along the mischievous genes uh, every night, every single night. She wants to roost on top of the door, but we can't have that. So every night, I have to walk out there, pick her up, take her inside, and put her on the roof. And uh, it, it every night, every single night. But that's what makes her cool. That was all two weeks ago, and I'm just now getting around to closing out this video. Oh man, uh, GoPro problems. That day I was over at uh, Come On Homesteading, and uh, I've been having computer problems too. Just hasn't been my luck. But I've been using every spare moment I have on my side hustles, uh, trying to get some income to make up for not being able to sell baby chicks until I move. So that's, uh, I did, I did escape for a day to Fort Smith with Dogman, and last night I got to go over and do a live show with Gary and Mary, Junk to Gyms, Dogman showed up for that. But other than that, it's just been nonstop trying to make, uh, trying to make a dollar. Um, and I've been missing out on all kinds of stuff too. I need to get moved. I know that's what, when is it going to, yeah, I don't know. I do not know. Uh, last week, Drew was helping Mama V still over at her place. Um, this week, uh, it's supposed to rain Thursday, Friday. That's no good. So uh, can't do that. So yeah, nothing, nothing going on there. Um, uh, need some help with some plumbing and stuff like that. And, you know, waiting on other people. <laughs> uh, so that's part of it. And I've just been, uh, I've been busy with the side hustle so I'm not uh, pestering people all the time well anyway oh it's almost dark I need to do some water earth for tomorrow I uh, should be making a trip up to my new place tomorrow uh, we'll see we'll see I've uh, uh, contacted a contractor to do something yeah, uh, whether or not that'll be tomorrow or not, I don't know. But that's why I got to do all the side hustle because I got to pay for s stuff so I can get moved. Uh, all right, uh, I got to get back to work before dark. And I will, I don't know when I'll catch you guys. I'm sorry, I know. It is uh, it is what it is. Not much going on the YouTube front or the moving front. And they're both related. So uh, I'll catch you when I catch you. Thanks for watching, thanks for everything, and take it easy.